Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today we're going to tie a ribbed caddis larva. The hook that I have in the vise is a Maruto C46. This is a size 14. This is a shrimp caddis pupa curved shank hook. And this is from frostyfly.com. I started out with a 3 millimeter bead on the hook. This is a black bead. I'm going to put a little bit more uh, weight on it. Ten thousandths wire. Yeah, eight or ten wraps. Push that inside. And break that off. I'm going to use a dark uh, olive thread and the color thread is not a real big deal when you're doing a ribbed one because you're not going to see the thread color going through we start that thread behind the lead wraps and use the thread wraps to push that uh, the lead inside the bead I'm going to bring that down around the bend slightly and break off that the remainder now I'm going to take a pair of peacock hurl gonna break off the ends break off the brittle ends of them to tie them in and we're gonna bring them up bring that thread up to the lead wraps Now for the body, I'm using the plastic elastics. Uh, these are gimme hair bands. You can see here you get 500 of them for uh, a dollar or two at the uh, dollar stores. And I chose a nice olive color. I have, it, have the uh, band already cut, but I'm going to cut a dart in it. Give yourself a nice angle there. We're going to start tying that in just by catching the edge of it. And then we're going to pull this. Let's try that again. We're going to just catch the edge of it. And then once you get it caught, you can pull it and wrap it back. And then we're going to bring that thread forward again. Now we're going to take the peacock hurl and we're going to wrap that forward. By tying the peacock hurl in by the tips, you get a better uh, coverage. It seems like it uh, you get that fluffier or f more fuzz standing up the barbels on these hurls stand up better and then we're going to bring that up And I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. And bring my thread back just slightly. And we can break off the excess. Now we're going to take our hairband. We're going to wrap this. I'm going to pull that pretty tight. And as we're going, I'm going to let a little bit of that peacock come through. Get to the head, and we're going to tie that off. Hold 
Hold that back. And we're going to cut that off. Now for the head, I'm going to take some, uh, you can use rabbit. I'm going to use some uh, awesome possum. Just get a little bit of that dubbing. Just going to put a little bit of that dubbing on there because we only want a small amount. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that right there. And even before I'm done, I'm going to whip finish it. Did that last wrap in there with the whip finish. Get that pretty tight. You can give it two whip finishes. And then we're going to trim that thread. And now because the hairband went all the way up to the front, I don't want to put any head cement on there. It's a good idea to wax your thread, and that will help hold the knots better. But I don't want to put any head cement on there because the head cement eats right through this hairband. So when you are tying with these, you want to make sure that you keep the hairband away from the bead but in this case you need that last wrap right there so no head cement is going to be on this fly you can take your dubbing teaser and tease that out a little bit just to make a little bit go over towards the back And here we have a ribbed caddis larva. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please visit my sponsor. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.